just a, a retired volunteer fireman. And behind me sits a 1954 Ford fire truck that I've restored. It began its life in Keystone Heights, Florida, for a small department down there. Uh, from there, it went to one or two more places before it wound up in Georgia in a gated community for their fire protection. How long did the restoration take? About seven or eight years, on and off. I was working full time. I would do it on the weekends, uh, on and off, for about seven years, seven or eight years. I think the most laborious part was sandblasting everything down to bare metal. That was the longest and the, the most dirtiest part. Uh, to get everything ready for paint. Uh, and then the second biggest problem, I think, was logistics of ripping a truck down to restore while still maintaining it under cover. And then you have to have a place to put all these parts and the truck. So that was a little bit of a problem, but we managed. It was pretty awesome. I went to a a little show of about seven or eight trucks. It was just trucks only. It was one of the truck clubs I belonged to. And we picked a an old railroad station that's now a cafe. And we all met there for breakfast and we took pictures. And that was quite a feeling when I finally got it on the road to start showing it. Uh, the guys were most appreciative to welcome me into their group. And they all pretty much liked the truck. So that was a good feeling. I think the first thing I would tell them is to have a rig, see if it's drivable, drive it around for a little bit, get the feel of it, and then lay out a game plan as to what you're going to do. Is it going to be a daily driver? Is it going to be just a trailer queen? Or are you going to drive it to shows? And then thirdly, figure out a budget and start doing some investigating as to what things cost, where you're going to source your parts from, how easy it is to get it, and then lay it out and just kind of see if it's what you want to do. So many people start a project halfway through, they've run out of interest, they've run out of time, they've run out of money, and the project gets shelved. So that's, that's what I would do. Can you tell me what, what it feels like to drive? <laughs> it's a pretty awesome feeling. It's old school. There are power brakes, but there's no power steering. It's a manual shift, five speed on the floor, and it's a big rig. Uh, it was originally slated for 19,000 pounds with the water tank. Now with the trimmed tank out of it, it tops out at about 10.4, so it's a heavy rig and it's big. So when you climb up into it and you drive it, it's not like driving a car. Completely different. You know, you're manually steering it, manually turning the corners, and manually shifting the gears. And it's a pretty big throw. It's a pretty big throw.